难民妇女。The fees for this patient have increased markedly. So even though they get 50% off, they still have to pay a lot, and they do not come for antenatal follow-up, and they do not come to deliver in hospital, and a lot of them actually have a lot of complication. That's the reason we think we need to start a clinic. 缅甸籍妇产科医生凯佩皮住在大马已经十一年，投入难民义诊服务，沟通无隔阂。The local Malaysian doctors are helping my people, then in my mind, I think now why I shouldn't go and help. I have more responsibility and duty to take care of my people. So I'm very impressed and very thankful to Fiji for helping the, all the refugees, not only from Myanmar, but also from all, all other countries. 也是大学医学院讲师的他，带动学生们参与。不是只是头痛，我给你头痛药，而是我治疗你这一个人。时时刻刻提醒自己，不是只是治疗病，而是治疗这个病人一整个人，身心灵。所以我们就啊，开开始就学会哦，原来知道一个病人，我们要知道他们的家庭背景，要知道他们人是怎样的，然后他们的情绪方面也是很重要。以人为本，从医生到医学生，他们的职工良能，给了漂泊失根的难民一点依靠。大爱新闻真善美职工林启兵马下报道。正言上人行脚，今天是在台北慈济医院和医护人员进行温馨座谈，聆听了。